Welcome guys to the sixth episode of the Novec demo build. In this episode we will be discussing how to fit the radiator inside the tank as well as the general layout of the podium itself. So stick around! <laughs> Okay, so now the next step should be attaching the cooler inside the top lid. So I'm just going to remove the, uh, the holder here for a while. Uh, right, I did attach it out, uh, out of camera. Uh, just test fitted, uh, you know, how to pour in Novec and stuff like that. I'm actually gonna leave this in for now uh, because it is attached pretty strongly with uh, two wrenches. So I'm only disconnecting this instead. So I'm just pushing this off. It's connection like that. It's very easy to remove. Now we have the, uh, the piping, how it sits on this. Okay, so this one next then should go into these holes. So I need to get those holes open. Uh, I'm just gonna use a scissor or screwdriver or hey knife to punch through. Test fit this. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Now I also need to have screw holes for this punch a hole. So I'm just quickly punching a hole through here. And no. a hole through there. there. Now I might as well punch the holes for the cabling as well since I'm, so, since I'm on it. Actually, gonna detach this one so I can get in and really cut this extra away. It would be a bit easier. There. Put that little piece back. There we go. Hole out for cables, hole back into the pipe for cables. In and out this. Hole for the connection of this. So now I just need to dust this off because this is very dusty as you can see in this light so i really need to get that clean before i put this one on so a little tissue now and so There we go. Oh, as you can see now, it's a lot better. It's not that dirty. So, let's attach this. Okay. 
Then we need the screws, of course. Deep. It doesn't even come through the rubber, so I guess it was too short. I need to find something else that I used. In case I can't find any other screws, so these will have to do, but that forces me to drill down a little bit more into the wood to give way for the screw head. So I'm just switching to this one again. Let's see if that goes through now. Yep, go through a little there as you can see, so that's good. Now let's do that for the other side. That goes through there, those should be enough. Let's try that. Oh, that's with just one screw. Let's have another. All right. There we go. Look. Ha! It's in place. Doesn't look too shabby. And the uh, piping goes up there. I can just touch these ones. No. as tight as I can get them. That's the top. Now I need to figure out what kind of um, cabling to do. I need power. I probably need some kind of maintenance USB network. Power of course. So those are the cables I need to fit. Now the cables will go down into the back pipe here and down into the podium so I'm actually more or less forced now to uh, mount the tank on top of the podium that I'm restricted to build upon here we have the uh, podium that I need to mount it on in this demo, I have been planning on removing the heat from the tank with the water cooling system, transporting that water into a little model building resembling an office to show that you can reuse the heat in the office from the tank. But now is the question, should I put it like so on the side and have all the uh, pipes going here and into a building located here, or should I have it in the middle, it's more of a centerpiece, and then make a little radiator here that's giving off the, uh, the heat, and, and you can use your own imagination, I don't have to build the, the model house, so I have to give that some thought. Okay, so I have decided, I will stick uh, to uh, the original plan that I had, so I'm going to have this here on the side, just behind the design that's going to be here. The top, leaving the, uh, the water behind into a, a circulating water tank with pump. And I'm going to lead it into a little office building that I'm going to build about here. So we have a closed system showing like a data center model with uh, servers, 
being cooled by Novik and in the secondary cooling system transporting the heat into the office where it will radiate out heat so you can recycle it where you need it. So I'm going to stick to that plan. I can now drill the holes into the board for these pipes and I can also attach this bottom using screws from underneath. I can also start taking out the holes for the piping. Now as before with the top, this is the bottom, uh, I need to cut out or cut away all the rubber that is uh, overlapping the holes that I intend to draw cables and, and lightning through. So I'll start with that. So just unscrew these and cut away the rubber inside them. Now, I can actually see an advantage to removing these pieces of wood here now immediately because that would leave me more uh, room to maneuver later when I'm installing lights and cables. So I'm actually gonna just draw out the lines here and I'm, I'm just gonna remove it immediately, might as well. So just outlining where these are. Onto the wood now that is exposed under the rubber. And then I'm just, you know, removing these again and shopping it out. There. So yeah. I'm I'm just gonna saw it fast with the sewing machine that I have. Okay, so that's cut out. Now I can put the pieces back. Pipe holders. There we go. So, yeah, now we cut out. So these are a lot bigger, these holes now. So we have a lot more to work with uh, when we need that. Not everything is cut. Uh, didn't want to make it perfect because now I still have a stop for the pipes. These small, small edges that still remain in here. They still make a natural stop for the pipes when I put them in so they don't sink too far down into the construction. That's good. Now we just need to um, fix this on top of the demo board 